Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Pahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have to talk about your ability to receive blessings. For so many of you, you are so accustomed and so open to being a blessing and a gift to someone else. You're so open to doing, doing, doing. But when it comes to you actually receiving the blessing, when it comes to you actually receiving the gift, when it comes to you receiving love, when it comes to you receiving abundance, that's when you're like, skirt, nope, don't know what that is. I just want to give to you. Or no, 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 I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But as soon as you see someone else struggling, like, oh, let, here, let me help you. Oh, let me be there for you in that way. I really want to change your thinking when it comes to this because there are two different energies when it comes to the entire universe, when it comes to energy and the world that it is that we live in. We have energy that is masculine, which is all about doing, being there, and then giving, like putting into. And then we have the energy of receiving, being open to being poured into, and then also using that energy that you give in order to nourish yourself and to nourish others. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female or however it is that you identify, each of us are going to show different sides of these energies, masculine and feminine, regardless of our identity. It's really important that we master both of those sides and that we're not just all one or all of the other. We have to learn how to have balance, maintaining harmony between both of those worlds. The first thing that is so important that I want you to receive in this message, in this video, is the fact that in order for you to be able to give to others, you have to have had at once received. If not, over time and really quickly, you're gonna find yourself depleted in all areas of your life. There is gonna be a significant amount of you that are watching this video right now that needs to ask for more when it comes to your services that you give to others. You were born into this world with a specific set of gifts and talents and skills that not everybody has. And it's for you and for your purpose to tailor those and to share those with others. But you can't do that if you are receiving less than what it is that you deserve or you're doing a job that is not in alignment with your purpose, your gifts, your talents. So in order for you to be able to live up to this divine purpose that is written for your life, that is given to you by God, given, given to you by the divine, you are gonna have to receive more time, receive more money in order to create the time and the space for you to be able to perfect your gifts and to share your talent and to be of service to others in the way that, again, you are called to do. This means that for many of you guys, you're going to have to raise your prices. In order to raise your prices, you have to see your own worth and your own value. You have to believe in yourself and you have to be open to receiving more so that you can actually do more. The universe was a space that was created to be abundant. That means that none of us should be in a position or a space of lack. The only reason why our reality at the time of me filming this in 2019, the only reason why our reality, our experience is of those that are suffering or are in a space of lack, it's because there is an imbalance and there isn't harmony within our world. There's too many people do, 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 doing and not enough people receiving. Do you see what it is that I'm saying here? Do you see a trend there? The divine did not create this world to be a place of lack. In fact, if we were all doing exactly what is that we should be doing, the way that we should be doing it, no one would be experiencing lack. We all would be experiencing abundance because that energy would just flow effortlessly. That's why it's so important for you to get used to not only only doing but you also receiving so that you can be a part of this harmonious change that is happening and going to happen regardless to not receive the blessings that the divine has ordered for your life is almost like a slap in the face to the Creator because it's ultimately saying like I don't need you or I choose to do this by myself or I am NOT deserving do you really believe that in this beautiful world filled up beautiful people and beautiful animals and beautiful plant life that you were a mistake or that you were created to experience lack or less than others or that you were created to struggle or to have disease or illness, to be uninspired, to live without love? Absolutely not. We were all created with a purpose. And again, it all comes in a harmony where we all need each other. Every life needs the other life. We all need each other. So not only do we have to be open to being there for others and to be of service, but we need to be open to receiving that service and that help and that love 
from others, that nourishment from others. Honestly, it actually takes a lot of faith and vulnerability to say yes to a gift, to say yes to a blessing. And I think that for so many of you guys, it's because you have become, in, it's almost been ingrained in your brain to accept less than what it is that you deserve or to accept struggle as the way life is when that is simply not the case. I truly believe in my heart of hearts that we should always be evolving and that we are always evolving. That's why the generation before opens the doors for those to come and the lessons that the generation before has learned, it teaches to those that are walking into this existence and the next one and the next one and the next one. We are constantly growing towards the light, getting closer and closer every single day, every single year, every single moment. So this mindset of struggle, this mindset of lack is something that at this point in 2019, we should be evolving away from. It doesn't matter if you're male or female or however you identify, it's time for you to get into a position, a healthy position of learning how to receive as well as to give. If you have it in your heart to help someone or to be there for someone else simply because you love them, then it's time for you to equally be in a position to receive help and love from someone else because they wanna be there for you too. As we're moving out of this lack or less than mentality, we're moving into a more abundant mindset, which is also there to teach you of how valuable and how precious you are and your resources are. So if they truly are precious and if they truly are gifts, then they should be supported as such. So you need to be open to receiving the abundance that you are going to pour into the others because that is your gift, that is your service to the world. The same is true for love. If you are walking along this planet and you are feeling abandoned, if you are feeling rejected, used and abused, then how can you feel nourished? How can you give your love and your light to others when you yourself have been depleted? So you have to also learn how to see your own value, to see your own worth, and to not put yourself in positions where people are going to take from you, take from you, take from you. That is not a part of the balance. That is not harmonious in any way, shape, or form. It's up to you to protect your inner source, your inner well of abundance that, that lies within you. So even as I'm telling you guys to give and also to learn how to receive, even that has to be healthy. Even that has to be harmonious. So after watching this video, I really want to challenge you guys with small baby steps. I want you to start by accepting the smaller gifts that are given to you in this life. And I can guarantee you that after you're done watching this video, you're going to start seeing synchronistic events of people being like, hi, can I open the door for you? Or hey, I thought of you and I have this gift. What I want you to do is instead of saying no to it and rejecting it, I want you to start getting used to saying yes to even the smallest things. That way you can start saying yes to the bigger things so that you can start receiving even bigger blessings for your life. Because at the time of filming this, you have a very major big blessing that is trying to come into your life, that is making its way into your life. But in order for you to receive it, you have to at first be open to receiving it and knowing that you're worthy of it, knowing that it's valuable and knowing that it is time for you to receive this without guilt and no hesitation. The other challenge that I want you to do is see others receiving their gifts. Watch how they allow themselves to receive it. Do they reject it or are they open and accepting of it? I don't want you to watch with judgment. I just want you to watch with loving eyes and I want you to learn from it. And I also want you to see how worthy they are probably of receiving that gift. And if they are worthy of receiving that, you are definitely worthy of receiving it because none of us are better than the other. We are all equal. All right, you guys, so that's my message for right now short and sweet and to the point make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from all right bye